and I'm feeling fly. It's hot with the sunny sky. We love our like Hey everyone, it's Mindy and Brooklyn from Cute Girls Hairstyles. And today I'm going to show you a couple ways to wear the Celtic knot. Now I'm sure you've seen this knot before, it's existed for a long, long time. And I've also seen some other people that have pictures on Pinterest or maybe even tutorials, but I've never had the chance to do this particular knot and I really wanted to. And since we have St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, what better time than now to be inspired by our Irish roots and do something for St. Patrick's Day. You notice we're wearing our green today. Yay St. Patrick's Day. Now let's get started on the hairstyle. Okay, to begin the Celtic knot, you need two pieces of hair that are like the length of your hair, the full length. So Brooklyn has some layers right in front, so what I did was I just kind of wrapped those layers up and brought the long piece around them. You can see them right there, because I need the long pieces. And you can use water to wet them down, or pomade, or even dry wax, but you need to kind of have the hair pretty much sort of like slicked together, you know, where it's not gonna have like a ton of hairs just flying out of control all over the place as you go. Because this is a knot, it would have a tendency to do that. I'm using a little bit of pomade and a little bit of dry wax today. You can see we already have her hair curled. Okay, so you're gonna take the two pieces and with the one on the left, you're gonna make a loop towards the top of her head, just like that, just a nice loop. And with these two fingers, you're going to take the second piece and hook them into the fingers. Then you're going to take that end and wrap it up and over your thumb. And you want to be as close to this top piece as possible. And I'll show you why. So you're kind of holding onto the knot, the loop still. Now you're going to take your fingers, your pinchers, and reach up and under that piece of hair and grab that one. Did you see what I did right there? Pull it up. That's why you wanted it laying close to the hair to begin with. Bring it around, over the top, now reach up through the loop, grab that piece of hair and pull it through. Now you're going to take it, still working with the same ends, tuck it underneath that strand of hair you have coming from the side, and then to finish it off, take it back through the loop. So we've essentially just taken the hair under that piece to secure it and then back through the loop. And then you're gonna go ahead and just slowly release all of your fingers and voila, you have your knot. You can just tug on the ends a little bit to tighten it up. It does loosen, you know, as you work with it a little bit, which is fine because you kind of want it to be like soft and float into the hair. But if you're not liking where it's sitting, you can always just Okay, now one trick I'm gonna teach you guys is that if you have a hard time, this piece comes out over the loop and sometimes it pops up a little bit funny, particularly if you're working with curls. So one trick is to take a flat iron and just turn it on like a lower heat, like 300, 360 even, and just take a flat iron right there and just gently for five seconds push on it and it acts sort of like an iron, kind of flattening down that little bump that happens right there and helping it lay flatter against the head. Okay, so let's do the second knot. I'm gonna take this left strand, wrap it up towards the head, and make a loop. Then I'm gonna take the right strand and put it in between my two fingers. I'm gonna lift that edge up and lay it over as close as possible to the top of my hand. Sometimes it's hard to get it to stay. Then I'm gonna take my fingers and reach underneath that left edge. This is why this is important. This one doesn't wanna stay there. Reach in, grab that strand, and pull it up. Then you're going to take it over the top of the knot, the loop, sorry. Reach inside and grab it, pull it through. Then take it behind our right strand and then back through the loop. When you get the hang of it, it's really not hard. It's much harder when I'm going slow and explaining it. And then when you have that end through, go ahead and release. And you can pull on those side pieces to tighten it up a little bit if you want. And we want it to fall just like right underneath our first knot. So just nice and soft. You can loosen it a little. And then you're just gonna place it right underneath that first knot. And there you have the double Celtic knot. Okay, the third way to style a Celtic knot is a little bit more grown up looking. 
um, because it's on just one side of her head. Now I've done it on the side where she has the least amount of hair because she has her hair parted going the other way. But again, you're going to take your two pieces, make the loop, put the hair between the two fingers, the right strand, flip it up and over, reach underneath and grab that strand and pull it through. Bring it up in front of the loop, reach through the loop, and grab that end, pull it through. Now you're going to take it around the back of the right strand, and then back through the loop one more time. And then just pull gently until you have it the size and shape you want it to be. You can manipulate it a little bit and then let it rest on the side of her head. And I think this one's so pretty. It's a little more grown up, but it gives like an otherwise just kind of boring hairstyle, just a little kapow on the side when they turn their head. It's like, surprise, that they didn't know was there. So fun. Okay, so let's do the spin on this side Celtic knot so you can see it. I love that. Just a little pop. And her curl's pretty on all the other sides. And I'll go ahead and show the pictures of the other two styles. And there you have it. Now, bonus video for you guys this week because we have done another Disney style video. You can find it right here or in the description box below. We did Elsa's coronation hairdo, so make sure and go check that out. It's beautiful as well. And we will see you guys next week. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. Bye guys, bye. Hi, babe. Hi, Mom. Hi, Brookie. Hi, Mom. Hi, eat your cupcake. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Gummy kisses. Mm -hmm. I need to wash my hair.